Hey, what's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Hello Neighbor, where we have finally made it into the room that was locked with a key. There's a bunch of apples on a shelf up there. Looks like there's binoculars and some other stuff. Oh, dude, did I leave my magnet? I left my magnet. Oh, no. Well, I hope there's nothing valuable up there, because we can't get to it right now. That's not working anyways, and you can't really see anything up there. There's something right there. What is that? Looks like a pair of shoes, and there's something next to it, though. I don't know if that's a key or not. It's something. What is this right here? What do we have on this side? We've got... A handle of some kind that conducts electricity, it looks like. That more than likely leads up to that door right there. Okay. We've also only really got access to this little door right here. I have no clue where we are right now. Like, we are out here. What is that? Ooh. It looks to me as though, sorry, I still have the telephone with me, too. Chuck that shit and get it out of my inventory real fast. I am curious to see where this pops out. Is this maybe the door with the gold key? I bet it is. I bet that's the door with the gold key. Okay. And then where does this weird Amityville shit... Oh, it comes out down there. Alright. Cool. Well, we've got a card key inside of here, which I assume goes to the place that's right inside the front door. And we got a lot of cameras and shit that we got to disable, though, if we wanted to... Oh, there's a gun. Dude, how do I get the gun off? I had the magnet with me. Ah, limited inventory space. Why are you the way that you are? In limited inventory space. Um, drop the binos for a second. We'll move that chair. Now that we've got that, give me the binos back. And we'll bring this over to this side. But yeah, man, this game is a bit of a head-scratcher. Like, sometimes you got to do stuff in this game that you're not entirely sure it's the right way to do it. Like, it doesn't feel like it's the right way. Let me drop that key right there, because I don't think that's going to be useful anytime soon. We'll start disabling some cameras and whatnot, because we are going to have to break back into this place, unfortunately. So we have access to both sides of these doors right now. But if we can get the... Actually, it wasn't to the gold key. Okay, so it went to right there. Interesting. Alright, so the gold key would give us access to the gun... And some other stuff. The gold key, I can only assume, is more than likely inside the same room. Does that open? Where does that go? Can I, like, move a table or a chair or something over here and see if I can... So let's say that I climb up on top of this chair. Let's do some chair climbing. Yeah, buddy. I don't know if that's a place where you can go. That just looks like a lump of bullshit up there. So I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Where did I drop the key? I dropped a key around here somewhere. Silver key is on the floor in one of these rooms, and I didn't really want to leave it behind. I was just kind of ditching it for a minute so that I could pick up other stuff. It sounds like our friend is outside patrolling. I've had issues with this before, in case you didn't know, where, like, I drop an item and I can't get it actively back. Oh, it's right there. All right, we're good. On this side, he booby-trapped that door again, too. What a lovely fellow. What a fun guy to hang out with. He is a total mushroom. Alright, I... No! Close the... Oh, the gate is no longer open! Oh no, although I don't really need the gate, do I? I don't really need the gate because... Yeah, I don't really need the gate. Never mind. It doesn't matter. The gate's irrelevant. I've got an easy access way around it. I was a little bit worried that I may have screwed myself over. But now, we just need to go in the front door... And get through this room right here with the key card. <gasps> oh shit, I think he heard his trap go off. He was checking his traps, dog. He was checking his traps, yo. And he found out that he had definitely got himself a rabbit. Alright. Well, he's gonna know that I'm gonna have to come this way. So yeah, he's gonna probably be... Chilling over there. He's probably gonna reset up that trap, too. Yeah, there we go. It looks like he was just, like, bugged or acting weird for, like, the first portion of our playthrough. And resetting the game seems to have made him act in a more 
rational fashion. Like, he's actually doing stuff right now that I expected, whereas before, he would just, like, walk in circles around the house and not really do much else. That's all that he would do, just walk around circles of the house. Hmm... So with the bear trap being a right there trap, is there any way for me to like set that off without stepping on it? Or does that just flat out mean that that part of the house is not accessible until I trip it on accident when I'm running around? I bet that's what it means. We're also going to need access to the crowbar though too. That's the other thing that worries me. Oh, the cameras are back online. Did he reset the breaker? He's never done that before either. There we go. Breaker's down. I don't hear footsteps. Oh, he put bear traps over here, too. Shit. Okay, well, that's a problem. I'm gonna start killing some cameras, then. Just so in the off chance... I come back through this way. We don't have, like, prying eyes and voyeurism taking place. Good. Oh, no, we've been caught. Well, not yet we haven't been caught. I find that it's helpful to jump a lot of the time because he throws glue at you. And if you jump around a lot, the glue actually doesn't impact. And so you can escape back to your house. He's going to retreat back inside his in turn. I'm hoping this key card goes to that front door right there. But I don't know. Gotta get past the bear trap before any of that's even gonna matter. And unfortunately, since he keeps resetting it, we're gonna have to figure out another way in the house. Breaking a window is an option. Going around the back the long way is an option. What is he doing right now? I'm gonna drop the binos, and we're gonna bring the magnet with us, actually. Yeah. Use my magnetic personality to defeat this fiend. I think he's inside of that room right there because he's getting little triggers. Oh, no, he was right inside the front door. Never mind. Well, with the bear traps being where they are, we don't really have a whole lot of access ways into the house right now. That's bad. That's really bad. I'm going to have to go out that way right there, and then I'm going to leap the fence on this side. So we set off one of the bear traps. It's not letting me pick them up. I don't know if maybe I can set them off with a magnet or something. That might work. Maybe I'll try that out next and see if our, our little red button magnet will make this happen. So it pulls basically like anything that's metal. Definitely not glue, though. Be cool if I could pull the lamppost down and just be like, Ah, urban destruction! I am an adolescent youth. I destroy... Ah, you stepped in your own bear trap, you dumb bastard. Look at you, looking all stupid right now, caught up in your own trap. Worst hunter ever. Worst hunter ever. I didn't see him go through that sideway. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, we'll let him pace around for a little bit. All right, so he's gone down the hallway. The big if. Okay, so the exit has been taken care of. That means that the key card gets us through that door. That's now unlocked, but since it's boarded shut, we need to find the crowbar. And we know that the crowbar is inside that room right there. So the next question becomes, how do we get the crowbar? My assumption is that maybe the gold key is up on one of those shelves in that room. There was something that looked kind of golden off to the side, and so I just didn't have the magnet with me. The point now is going to be to access that upper part of the house again 
so that we can lock this all down. You'll forgive me for earlier on in the series for not trying to jump that gap with the gate. I didn't see the hole in the side, and even if I did, this didn't strike me as the sort of game that would have a lot of platforming in it. it wasn't something that I expected. So, oh, I done gave myself away. Yep, there I am. All right, let's lose him around the back side of the house, maybe. Just keep jumping, and the glue can't affect you. He'll lose line of sight eventually. Maybe. All right, I was wrong. He wasn't able to lose line of sight that easily. I've also found that if you hold something in your hand that's not the flashlight, I feel like I get discovered less. Uh, that might just be conjecture. That might be a total perceptional bias. But even if I have the flashlight turned off, I feel like I get seen a lot more when I'm carrying it. I can't confirm or deny that, so don't take it as a fact. I don't want to see this on a forum, Nerd Castle. I don't want to see it being like, Splattercast said that when you hold the flashlight, you get caught. And I'd be like, no, that's I followed that up with a huge caveat that that was my perception of the situation. This son of a bitch put the cameras back up, too. All right. I think I can get around that one right there just by going this way and kind of sweeping around. See, I need to figure out how we get around the bear traps because, like, if he puts down a bear trap in an abnormal spot, there's just, like, nothing you can do about it. Like, it's just, like, your toast. And that's that. Oh, open the door. Come on. The door just has to open outwards, doesn't it? It can't open inwards. Jesus. It also becomes a problem if he just decides to, like, camp a spot. There's not a whole lot of ways to uproot him. Like, you can call his phone. You can, throw th you can like, throw a thing through his window, you know. But those are... not amazingly solid solutions to these problems. I'm just going to be honest with you. He should go around and check his front window now, I think. I mean, I broke it, so... <gasps> How did he see me? Where was he at right there? See, what I found a lot of the times is he gets stuck behind the lamp that's in the corner over there, and so it becomes impossible to access the upstairs because he's just stuck on the lamp, and there's no way to get him, like, unstuck for long periods of time. Like, believe me, I've tried breaking his windows. I've tried doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so there you go. That seems to have uprooted him. Maybe I just wasn't quick enough. Maybe he was able to loop back. So I think he looped back faster than I was able to stop him when he did this previously. Where's this guy at? He's making it sound like he's right up my ass right now. You're not going to capture me. This is public property, dude. You can't do anything out here. You hit me, you're the criminal. All right? I'm just saying, public property right here. Public property. Can't hit me on this. Inside your house, eh, debatable. Right here, can't hit me here. Done. Can't hit me. This space right here. See where this sidewalk is right here? Technically, I'm not so convinced that this is not municipal land right here either. Your car is parked on it right now. You're committing a crime just as much as I am. So he came in, he looked at what happened right there, and then he bugged on out. I think we're just going to be stuck here waiting to see if he goes somewhere else, basically. Because he's going to check the shit in the back. That's the thing. He's going to check the thing in the back. I think he's right around the corner right there just hanging out.
It might also be the noise of the boxes that I climb over when I go in here that give me away. Also a distinct possibility. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use it to break that window right there. Oh, never mind. He came around the back. Shit. That was the opening I was waiting for, too. I was going to break the window, go around, go up the stairs, and we were good. See, and I thought I had easy access. I thought I had easy access. I was absolutely 100% wrong. Where did he see me from that time? Huh. Interesting turn of events. Let's see if I can lose him around the back side of the house. Nope. Can't lose him around the back side of the house. He got me with the glue. Alright. It's all good. Yeah, he's got my number right there, and since that's the only way to access the upstairs, he's just sitting on top of it. I've tried calling his phone, I've tried breaking a window, I've tried just about everything to get him off that spot. But he knows that's where we have to go in order to get the game completed. And so that leaves us in kind of an interesting spot. I'm gonna wait till I see an opening. I'll be right back. There. I think we got our wish. I think he's going around the side of the house right now. It took a little while, but I think he's doing the loop where he goes back to the boxes or whatever and takes a look at them. And then I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go straight up and in. I can't see where the damn right now. Gonna have to be careful in this back room, though. There we go. It only took us ten minutes to get back here, but we made it. Close that door, please. All right, so this was the room where I felt like there was something up there, like on that right-hand side. I can't say what it was. We also have the issue of this thing over here, which I don't know what this does. I mean, I've got the power down right now, I think, although the cameras were on, so I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. It, it might be helpful, it might not. So how far out does this shoot from? Not that far. So if there is a gold key... Hmm. That's kind of a curious situation right there. I don't know what to say about that one. There's like a bed frame right there and then a scaffolding. I just don't know. Like I could climb that in real life super easy. But in-game, I don't know if that's what's intended, like, I don't think so. Real life, that'd be easily climbable, but, eh, who knows. I knocked over the television. My bad, your rabbit ears are going to have to take some damage right there. I'm of the opinion that whatever we need is up there. That's what I think. Could be wrong. Could be 100% wrong. But that's just my assumption. So, I'm not sure. I think we probably got to go back out and turn the power on to make that do whatever it does. I don't know if something unfolds or maybe if that goes up or... I have no clue. I'm not really so sure. But I think we got to turn the power back on. There's also the matter of a window over here... And, you know, I didn't really think of this game as a platforming game, but there's something golden up there, and if maybe we go out that way, we can get to that window, and maybe we can suck the key over. Maybe? I don't know. It might be able to occur. 
I can't see worth shit right now, so maybe I take you... And put you right there so that maybe I can see a little bit better. Yeah, that seems alright. I wonder how many boxes I'm going to need to make this work. Mm. Maybe another couple. In fact, putting them up against the wall is probably the best way to accomplish this. Oh shit, it did not like that at all. Okay, never mind. Good lord. What about this table? So let's say that I take the table and we put that right there. Yeah, it really doesn't want me to stand on top of the box right there. But let me see what I can orchestrate because I do feel like it's a good call. Like, I feel like this is a right thing. Can I get up on the back of the chair, possibly? Um, I need something to throw. So that window is now open, and now we just gotta hope. Yikes. We are making a lot of noise right now. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that. I was a little worried, but we have to turn the power back on anyways, so it's not like that big of a deal. Let me see what I can accomplish here. Alright, so the power is reactivated. We've got to hope that he's not over here right now. Because if he is... Ah, shit on me. Yeah, he was back up in the spot where he was previously. This would be the point at which we're using the telephone to get him downstairs would probably be a decent... Actually, that'll work. Did it work? I can't... I can't tell if it worked. Like, I wanted him to go and investigate the clock, but I can't hear it, so... Who knows? There we go. So he's up and out of the way now. We creep back upstairs. I'm sure he's gonna add this to, like, his patrol areas or whatever. Close that down. Did I get my flashlight back? I did indeed. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that did work. Alright. And I am super prepared to jump down this hole if need be. Alright, so that's right there. Can I flick the switch with the magnet? No, it doesn't look like it works like that. So how long do I have to get back over there? Oh, wow, you gotta be moving. Okay. I may have to take advantage of the fact that the animation takes a second. Whoa, how do you get on that thing? Good lord. That thing is quick. See, my assumption was that you could use the magnet on it. That was my hope. Let me take the lamp back over here so I can see it and properly aim, though, because that might be where I'm running into issues. Alright, so now we got the lamp. It actually does not look like it does what I thought it did. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to move some stuff because I gotta get over there with a quickness. So... Sofa is immovable, unfortunately. It is a mythical sofa of immovability. And we've got that right there. Let's take this. We'll stack this up on this side. Hopefully without making too much noise. Oh, really? We were already... We had the lights on, huh? That's another thing. is I'd like to see the light amplification brought up a little bit in this place. Because with two light bulbs in this room, it would be fairly easy to see IRL. Uh... I don't know how we get over there in time. We gotta get over there with a quickness. 
My guess is that we smash that window, we get on top of that, and we jump over to it, maybe. But, I mean, that's straight trouble. That's all kinds of issues. Can I run backwards? There we go. So that's how you do it. Yeah, there's definitely somebody inside of there. That doesn't actively... Oh my goodness, we went through the wall. Well, if it was up here, it ain't up here no more, so... Let's pick up the shoe, I guess. That window is now busted, and we've got to make... A bit of a challenging jump, because we don't have a whole lot of runway here to work with. I'm going to give that my best attempt in the next episode of Hello Neighbor. My name is Splattercat. I'll see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.